Welcome to this section about component composition. The goal of this video is to leverage React Native to create components that can be reused. Some of our objectives are to understand the difference between props and state, then we're gonna set up a component directory for our application. Finally, we'll create a simple reusable component. So when working with React or React Native, the word component comes up a lot, and you may hear terms like the following, stateful, stateless, functional, and class components. The difference between a stateful versus a stateless component is that a stateful component will have an internal state. There's not much of a difference between a functional and a class component. It's just a different way of writing components. I recommend writing a functional component when it's a simple component with not too much logic. A class component is similar to what we've been working with our app.js. Props can be utilized to customize and control components. Props is simply properties of a component. For example, we've seen that when we set the source property of an image, that controls what kind of image is being displayed. When creating a component, props are what we can utilize to pass data from parent components to its children. State is the other concept that controls a component. The difference from props is that props are fixed, while state within a component can be manipulated. For example, we have utilized state when getting data from a text input and using the setState function. Both state and props work the same way they do in React. So if you'd like to research more about props and state, the React docs can be utilized as a reference. Now that we have a background established, let's jump into the code and put some of these topics into practice. We're going to start laying the foundation for our budget app. When developing an app, it's necessary to have some form of code organization. So you and other developers will know where to place your code and where to go when it needs to be debugged. There's patterns out there to follow, and I usually like to follow the pattern Ignite follows, but for our use case, which is simple, I will place everything on the root of the project. So on our project's root, let's create a directory called components. This will be the home of all of our reusable components. Within our component directory, we will create another directory named styles. This is where we will store all our styles for our reusable components. Finally, we're going to code a component that abstracts our native base anatomy. This is great because we don't want to have to rewrite this code every time we create a new screen. So let's copy all the imports from our app.js and we'll remove what we don't need. We should then just be left with what we need from React and native base. So we'll create a file called layout.js, and we'll add our imports. To start the component, I'm going to type export default class layout, which will extend a component. And within our component, we will have a render function that will return our native base anatomy that I copy and pasted from our app.js. So here's the catch. With our component, I'm going to remove the grid in the middle, and instead I'm going to set it to this.props.children inside of brackets. We will then clean up our imports and fix this typo. So what's happening here is our stateless component is a generic box right now, and we don't know what the children are at this point. So when it's invoked, the items between our opening and closing braces will be rendered within our component. This will be a lot easier to understand once it's seen in action. In our app.js file, we have a lot of sample code set up. So let's clean it up by starting from the top. We're going to remove all the imports and be left with just React and text from native base. And then what we set up from React Native Easy Grid. We can then remove all of our functions, internal state, and component lifecycle methods for now. At the bottom, we will remove our style sheet. And now we have a clean state. Now back to the top, we're going to import our layout component from our components directory. Then within our render method, we'll remove our native base anatomy except for our grid. We will then wrap our grid in our layout component. And we will save and head over to the simulator. So now in our simulator, you will see the same output we had earlier. Now this is awesome because we just abstracted about 26 lines of code into two lines which can now be reused over and over again within our app for a consistent look that will save you a ton of time. Earlier when developing our component, I mentioned that our component is a generic box and it will render whatever is in between those tags. I think it's time we put that to the test and see how versatile our component is. 
So let's duplicate our grid and add it right under our current grid and jump back to the simulator. As you can see, our layout now shows our grid twice and it's stacked just as expected.